Hey guys, in this tutorial we'll be showing you how to combine Photoshop and Final Cut Pro or any other editing program to do special effects like this. First off, this technique can be used for an endless amount of creative possibilities. Today I'll be using one of my Instagram videos as an example of how you can combine Photoshop and Final Cut Pro to achieve a special effect. Some techniques used in this video, masking, incorporating Photoshop tools, and the jump cut. Okay, so first we're going to make a visual effects plate shot. If you don't know what this is, check out the video link above for the explanation. So here is a good point where the lighting matches the best, and the area that we're going to mask is empty. After I hold the clip to 0% speed, I'm going to drag it underneath the main clip because this is what will be revealed once the mask is applied. Okay, so we're going to find the point at which you want the effect to happen. Next, we need to find the end shot where I will end up being, at the top of the apple. Now we have the point where we want the effect to start and the effect to end. Go back to the original clip and freeze it at the point you want the effect to begin. Navigate through the effects and find the draw layer mask. Apply it to the clip. Invert the mask and feather it to blend the lighting. Add keyframes so the mask appears at the point of effect. Alright, so now you will see we disappear at the start of the effect. At this point, we basically need to create a screenshot of the video. To do this, we navigate to File, then to Share, and save the current frame. Next, we open up Photoshop, select the Magnetic Lasso tool, and use it to cut around our subjects. Feathering the edge helps. Copy what is drawn out, then we can paste it. This creates a new layer. At this point, we can clean up the image where the background might be showing a bit. Using the eraser tool, we can adjust the hardness to clean up around the edges. Now we can save the image as a PNG so that it preserves the transparency that we see. And now I'm going to quickly do the same steps for myself. Now we're ready to import these photos back into Final Cut Pro. Align them so that they appear at the start of the effect. What we need to do is add a keyframe to the beginning of the animation of this layer. And then skip ahead to where you want the animation to end. Then adjust the scale and position to match the end position of the next clip. Next I'll do the same thing with my son's image. Keyframe and adjust the position and scale to progressively get smaller and closer to the top of the apple. Now we can bring in the ending clip. A jump cut at this point ends the travel of my son and starts the ending clip. Next, we can experiment with the timing of the clip to achieve a bit more of a realistic throw. And of course, someone is flying through the air, so let's add a little directional blur to sell the effect a bit. I'm going to add a little bit of micro movement to my son as he flies through the air. I'll just adjust the rotation and position to give him a little wiggle as he flies. Hey guys, don't forget to like and subscribe and check me out on Instagram. Till then, get your edits on.